One of the arts of designing the online spaces is to create a really clear and simple syntax for your learners or your students to understand. You'll notice so far in this introduction course uh, that I've been using a syntax or nomenclature where the headers are in all caps, like course example exemplars, um, an action verb plus what it is, and then in brackets the actual time, especially if it's a screencast that it would take to complete uh, the work. Um, and the reason why I do that is because I'm really trying to create a syntax of action verbs plus a really pithy description plus an estimated time to complete the assignments that in many ways would reflect uh, Bloom's revised taxonomy. So if I start to see that most of the work that most of the verbs, action verbs that I'm using are find or label or cite or uh, introduce are really are going to be in these first two levels of remembering and understanding as I look at my course. So for example, in this particular example of how to create online discussions and online learning environments, you'll see that uh, although I have a couple of introduction or uh, remembering and understanding um, action verbs uh, and I have some uh, materials that I'm asking students to watch um, and read, you'll notice that for the most part I'm really asking students to discuss and reflect and to uh, ensure that they've been able to apply what they've learned um, before they complete this lesson. So this model of uh, action verb uh, plus a description plus the estimated time to complete the assignment can be a really helpful way for your students to understand what you're asking them to do and uh, how long it might take them to do it.